left with the storm sitting over the UK on Wednesday, but it's weakening overnight and into Wednesday. So by Wednesday, the winds won't be as strong. Some gales still possible in the southwest and through the English Channel, but the strongest winds are developing with the storm during the course of Tuesday, particularly in western areas. This is BBC News with the latest headlines. The UK becomes the latest country to tighten its travel rules as the Omicron variant spreads. From Tuesday, all arrivals will need a pre-departure COVID test. I think we want to make sure we take those steps earlier, precisely to avoid the bigger disruption to travel in the economy. Remembering Arthur Labinho Hughes, a vigil brings the Solihull Street where he lived to a standstill as a national review is launched into his murder. Arthur raised concern. He was not a baby. He was six years old. He raised concern and the system did not hear him. We must listen to the voices of children. Pope Francis holds mass in Athens after visiting a migrant camp on the island of Lesbos to highlight the plight of refugees. It's Kirby through and Kirby scores. Fran Kirby puts Chelsea ahead in their FA Cup final against Arsenal, a match delayed by the pandemic. Good afternoon. The travel industry has described the return of pre-departure COVID tests for passengers coming to the UK as a hammer blow for the sector. From Tuesday morning, international travellers will have to take either a PCR or a lateral flow test within 48 hours of leaving for the UK. That's regardless of their vaccination status. Meanwhile, Nigeria will be added to the travel red list from tomorrow. That means that arrivals must quarantine in a hotel for 10 days. Here's our business correspondent, Katie.